Hello peeps. My name is Tracy Sturdivant. I am a mobile manicurist and I also work in a salon. I am here today at the Booksy office in Chicago. I've been invited to come and share my experience with doing a marble manicure. So I'm gonna just show you a couple different ways that you can achieve that goal. So what I'm gonna show you today, uh, my first look is going to be done using just some gel polish with some marble tints and a little bit of foil. So let's get right into it. I'll be using Entity Color Couture Gel Soak Off. Um, it, the color is called Embellish Pumps. So what you wanna do obviously when you're doing this is, you know, if you're doing on a client, you'll be doing your base coat first, but I am just going to apply a thin coat of the gel polish and you will want to cure that for 30 seconds, but I wanted to create something that would give you some looks that would be a little bit more cohesive. You can add just some solids in there and then you can put this on a client or just come up with your own ideas and make that happen. So I'm gonna take this out of the lamp and put one more coat of this gel polish. It's a really beautiful color. It's sort of copperish but it has a, some glare to it, so it gives you that effect, which is absolutely gorgeous. You can see here how that looks, even just by itself, it's really fabulous. So I'm gonna go in and just cure that again for another 30 seconds. I'll be using some foil on this, and this is just, I just cut a little piece here. I wanted to kind of bring out some of that copper look with this, so I'll be using some foil. And then I'll also use the tints, as I mentioned, which are the obsidian black, sapphire blue, and I might throw in a little bit of silver. I'm not quite sure yet, but we shall see how this turns out. So I start with my blue. When you're using the tints, you're going to notice that they spread very quickly. So you just want to be mindful of that spreading that takes place. So that's just the sapphire blue, and then now I'm going in with my black. And I'm kind of not filling in all the spaces, but a lot of the spaces, just so that I can get that saturated look. And you can leave it just like this. Of course, when you're using tints, you can also fade it out a little bit using some acetone, but for this particular look, I'm not going to be doing that. So once, I get those tints on there, what I'm gonna do is just top coat it. I like to use a no wipe top coat just because it takes those steps out. When you're using a no wipe, most times it takes about a 60 second cure. So you're gonna go ahead and cure that in your lamp. And then I'm going to use just a little bit of gel base coat in order to have my foil stick. You can use, sometimes there's glue that comes with these foils, but today I'm gonna to be using a little bit of base coat. And I'm just placing it kind of where I think I want this foil to be. And I'm gonna cure that for about 15 seconds. So I'm just gonna take that out just so that I can apply this foil and as you can see it works wonderfully and there's our finished look so I'm just going to top coat that as well and now that's done you can also just use any other embellishments that you would like add some stones do some line work but this is the finished look for that particular one so what I want to do is get right into the next look, and that will be more of the marbling where it looks like a tile. I'm going to start this look out with a white background using gel polish again. And what you want to do is put a thin coat of your white then I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds like you normally would. 
my light here is at 60, so I'm sure it's going to cure in there really well. And then I like to use a little bit of top coat. I know some technicians use a little bit of base coat, but I'm going to be using a little bit of top coat on this and some black gel polish. And I'm just going to place it down on my foil piece. I like to use a little bit of foil and then you can just throw it away when you're done. So I'm using a combination of two techniques. I'm painting on your second coat of white gel polish and I'm gonna leave this wet. I'm gonna take one of my tools which has your art brushes in it, they're fantastic. This is the long one. And what I'm gonna do is just take some black in here and just make some lines. What's great about these looks is when I'm mobile, it's very easy for me to bring my products with me. It's not like I have a ton of stuff. And I love working with the Booksy app because what it does is it allows me to spend my time more on with my client as opposed to booking appointments. Normally before I was just kind of using my phone, they text me and you'd get appointments in there. And it's like, you know what? With Booksy, they can go on. I have it so that I can confirm appointments, but it's great because there's a ton of options. I also use it for my education side so people can book appointments with me if they want to have some education. So as you see, what I did was I moved along and I'm using like what's called our square flat brush and I'm mixing the top coat in with my gel polish and I'm just kind of blending it out. And you just tap it on one side, blend it out until you kind of get the look that you're looking for. I just like to keep working it just a little bit because it's not quite where I want it. But once you do that, you just cure it in your light. And because I'm using the no wipe top coat, I'm gonna cure it for 60 seconds. There you are. The other thing that I added to this was I took some glitter, just some loose glitter. And using my long brush, just wipe this off. Using my long brush in the top coat, I just added a little bit of glitter in there just to give it a little bit of pop. So right on my brush, dip that in and just kind of put the glitter where I want it. Again, you can add stones, you can add foil if you want, but I just wanted each nail to be a little bit different and have their own standalone look. And there you are, that's the finished look. I'm gonna put that in the light and cure that for 60 seconds. So this next look is kind of one of my favorites because it involves more than just one color. It's almost all these colors that I brought today together. So while that last look is curing, I'm going to start on it. So I used a, back, a black background. So I start with um, my black gel polish, which is a little black bottle. And again, you want to do two coats of color and curing in between. This black is fabulous because 
it really gives you great coverage just even on one coat, even with that white nail underneath. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that cure. This is our last look from before. I'm just gonna add some more top coat on it just to secure that because you don't wanna lose any of that beautiful artwork. One thin coat there, and you're gonna cure that no white for 60 seconds. Okay, so with my black, I'm going to put my second coat. I really like working with my Entity products when I'm mobile because when you are mobile, you need to be quick. You need to be in and out, very sufficient. And what I like is that this brush, it loads very well and the shape of it, it really fits like right into the cuticle because so it, then it just takes a few wipes and you're done. So my black background is all finished. What I'm gonna do is use Denim Diva. I'm gonna put a little bit of that on this foil. My embellished pumps again. And I'm layering these on top of each other. I'm gonna take some white, some of that spotlight color. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of black because you've already got the black background, you don't really need that much black, and then I have that blue in there. So using my square brush, what I'm gonna do is just scoop up all this color. And you take your brush down and you start to brush it on the nail and you will get that smoky, marbly look throughout the nail, and you put it. And you don't put it on heavy, but you don't put it on thin either, because you really want to get that entire look in there. What I want, though, is a little bit more white in here, so I'm just gonna add that in, just to make this a little bit more detailed and guess what that is your marbled look you can see the different colors of the denim diva the spotlight you can see the embellished pumps in there and you're done so one thing i like about booksy as well is a customer let's just say they're new to chicago and they are looking for a nail technician based off your reviews and what your clients say about you all those different things your name can pop up and you can get a brand new client that you normally would not get if you did not have the booksy app so it really gives you the exposure that you need and as far as online you can post like you know any type of posting through the book booksy app to build up your business even that much more it's absolutely fantastic like I just like the fact that it has all those capabilities. It allows me to be able to have those bookings and just market myself in a way that a lot of companies really don't have available to you as a mobile artist. I like to use the black along the sides using my long brush to outline this nail because it'll make it look like a framed piece of art so you just go along really thin line just around the parameters of the nail to give it that framed look and you can do this on any look that you want but i really wanted to frame this just so that you could see all the facets of this and just the movement of it it looks like a piece of rock almost and then you'll go in and cure this for 30 seconds. I took the privilege of just doing something a little bit different with this nail and I wanted to add 
just a little bit of embellishment. So what I have here, some stones, but I think I wanna use like some stars. So I'm gonna just do some stars, not these gold ones because I don't feel like that's appropriate with this particular color scheme. But what I wanna do, I love using this Orly Builder in a Bottle. And I'm gonna tell you why I like using it. Um, your product will stay on, it'll cure, and it just, it makes it so much easier when you are wanting to add some stonework without having to use all these other products because when you're mobile, you have to be very specific about what you're bringing with you because you don't wanna have a lot of supplies, but you wanna be able to give your client what it is that they're looking for. So I'm just using that builder in a bottle and putting on a few little stars here. Ooh, that copper one looks kind of cute. Maybe I might leave it. I didn't think I wanted that in there, but I think I do now. Look at that. It almost looks like a little galaxy. So I'm going to just add a couple more of those just so that it looks a little bit more balanced. And this nail is almost complete. So much fun, so easy. So I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds and then I'm gonna put one more coat of that builder on top of it just to really encapsulate those embellishments that I put on there and then top coat it. Another aspect of Booksy that I really love is the review aspect because what it does for me is with your reviews, a client can be coming from Miami or LA and if they have the Booksy app, it will show them where that they can find someone who's top rated. And so I would potentially get a client that I normally wouldn't get if I did not have the Booksy app. So I love that it has those capabilities and allows me to get new clients from other cities and states that I would normally not even meet. So that's just another aspect of Booksy that makes it absolutely fantastic for anyone that wants to, that's on the go, they have their own salon suite and they wanna help build their business. So I'm just putting another coat of the Builder in a Bottle on top of this so that it'll just encapsulate. And with Builder, it makes it easy because it's not, it's, it's a thicker viscosity without being in a pot. It's in a bottle, I brush it on and I'm done. While that's curing, I'm going to start on this last look. And this is really multifaceted look. A lot of layers going on here, but it's so much fun. It takes a little bit longer than the other looks, but it's completely worth it. I'm starting that look out using the Denim Diva Soak Off Gel. And I will put on two coats of this. You do one coat at a time, curing in between. And look at that, just absolutely fabulous. One coat and you get some really amazing coverage, which is what you want. You want every movement that you make in the salon to be counted. So I'm gonna go ahead and top coat this last look with a no wipe top coat. Again, I like no wipe because of the fact that it's one less step and it gives me that high shine that I'm looking for for my customers so that their nails are absolutely beautiful. Now I'm putting another coat of that Denim Diva Soak Off Gel Polish. And that's gonna be the background for this nail. So to achieve this look, I use some Spotlight and I also use a little bit of foil and tons and tons of top coat. So with the top coat, what I did was I mixed this in with my white because I kind of wanted 
the white to be a little bit cloudy and watered down. So I just took my long brush and just started making some lines across it, okay? And then taking more top coat, I just started blending it out. Just blending it, blending it, blending it out, giving it more of like a smoky, cloudy look. You want some more white in there, you can add some. And I'm just randomly placing that just to give you a little bit of definition here. But most of it, I wanted it to be more of a smoky, smoky look. It's fantastic. I mean, look at this. This art is created and it's very simple for you. You're going to go ahead and just cure that for a good 30 seconds. It's almost there. 30 seconds. The builder, what it's going to do is kind of encapsulate this look to make it seem like you're looking into it like glass piece. Look at that. Because of the viscosity of the builder, it just really starts to take over this and make it look like a piece of jewelry. And that's what my intention was. You can just flash cure this for about 10 seconds. And then what I did was just went in a little bit of this blue foil. And I like this because it looks like it's jeweled. You know, you can see like some of the facets in there. If you want to just do something quick and easy using foil that has those jeweled kind of pieces to it. So now I'm just going to randomly place, because I use that builder, it's sticking so it's great because I, I don't need that much foil. Just a little bit. So if you have, like, see how at the bottom here, there's a little bit more foil than I really want. I'm gonna take my square brush and some acetone, and I'm just going to remove a little of that foil because I don't want that much. And you can just kind of make it look like you placed it wherever you wanted it but I wanted just a little bit less foil. So I'm just gonna clean that up with a little bit of acetone. And that's, that's better, that's what I want. So then again, I'll take Builder again and put another coat over that to encapsulate the foil and really give it that layered look. Look at how beautiful. Now I'm gonna cure that for a full 30 seconds. Perfect. And that, my friends, is your completed looks. I can take this one out and show you that. Again, this one was done using the marble tints. This with gel polish and some top coat and a little bit of loose glitter achieved this look. This one, you're gonna take gel polish and kind of mix them together and just take your time and make it kind of like a Milky Way. And then, voila, my last masterpiece here. Absolutely gorgeous, all it needs now. If you'd like to put some embellishments, you can, but this is just top coated and it's done. All of these looks can be worn together separately, obviously using these colors, they work beautifully together. Those are your finished looks. Well, thank you so much, friends, for spending time with me today. And I really hope that these beautiful looks can help you bring something different to your salon. I'm also so grateful that Booksy brought me in today to be able to share my knowledge and um, techniques with you.
If you are interested in signing up with Booksy, you can connect with the link that's in the caption. If you want to talk to me or ask me any questions whatsoever, I'm here for you. My name is Tracy Sturdivant, and thank you for watching.